All right, this is the third grade, module one, lesson one. And in this uh, lesson, we are understanding that equal groups uh, really suggests the act of multiplication. So in this picture, what we've got is we've got, looks like scissors, I guess. And we've got one group of scissors, another group, another group. So we've got these equal sized groups. And uh, we have six groups, but that's six groups of three. So that's going to be right here. We've got a three right here. And so that's going to be three. Oops, where's my eraser? There, erase. And then we've got plus another three, plus another three, plus another three, plus another three, plus another three. So we should have six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six groups. And sure enough, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six threes. And if we add them all up, we get 18. Now, of course, your kids, they're probably going to count on their fingers. Maybe they'll do some skip counting, and that's good, too. And so, of course, we've got six groups of three, and that equals 18. And then lastly, the multiplication is six times three equals 18. Now, here's the big deal. So in the United States, when we see these six groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we say, okay, and there's three inside, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So in the United States, it's customary, we say, hey, six groups of three. Now, there are a lot of other countries that they think of it differently. They say, it's three six times. And so they'll write it like three times six. While in the United States, it's more customary to do six times three. Uh, as the teacher, uh, you got to make sure you're aware of that, that this kid may be coming from a country and consequently may have parents who are trying to counsel the kid to do this, where you might be expecting this. Um, you know, they're Technically, they're both right. Um, it's, it's a cultural thing. It's a convention thing. So in the United States, we're going to look at this picture right here as six times three because it's six groups of three. But be aware that there, there's no mathematical reason for that. Uh, it's just a convention. It's, a, it's just a, a rule that we live by in this country. Not all countries follow that same rule. So in this problem, we've got draw a picture to show 4 times 2 equals 8. So 4 times 2, this is the number of groups, 4 groups. And this right here is the size of the groups. So we're going to have 4 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then inside each of those groups is um, 2. So we got one, two, and then one, two, one, two, one, two. And there is our model to show four times two equals eight. And the last one in this video, it says circle the pencils below to show three groups of six. All right. Now, in this group, this problem, this is pretty straightforward. We're all going to agree, regardless of the country that we're from. So here is one group of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's another group of six. And then lastly, here's our final group of six. Now it says write an addition problem. So that's going to be six plus six plus six, and that's 18. And then the multiplication is going to be 3 groups of 6 equals 18. And that's it. Now remember, some countries may do 6 times 3, which is saying 6 3 times. And culturally speaking, that's okay. You know, there's other countries that do it differently. Uh, we just need to be aware that some countries do this while our country tends to do this. And that is um, this video.